we have seen is deliberate targeting of civilians. Women were being raped. Villages were being bombarded. You learn about what's happened in the past, what happened in Nazi Germany, and here we've got a chance to make it right, and we've just fallen flat on our faces. Don't you know that? Time for words has drawn to a close, and action desperately needs to take its place. My mandate is to investigate and prosecute the worst crimes in Darfur. My job is to provide food to save lives. It's part of my responsibility as a human being. much, much more complex than it was a few years ago, when we had basically two rebel movements, at some point three, and the government arming the Janjaweed to fight against those rebel movements. Now, of course, we have some say 16, some say 20, 22 rebel movements. Nobody knows who's fighting who, who is doing it with who, and for what reason exactly. So the situation today is extremely, extremely complex on the ground and extremely dangerous, particularly for the humanitarian workers who are still there. The grievances, some were mentioned in the movie, it's also complex, there's not one cause to this conflict. Now it's often said that the international community hasn't done anything. I think this movie shows that that is definitely not true. We have almost done everything except maybe the final thing, and that is a military intervention against the will of the government. And we can debate here among ourselves whether that would have been wise, or still today is a wise thing to do. So what has it done, this whole humanitarian effort? It has actually saved lives. It has created a situation in which less people are killed today than they were a few years ago, in 2003 and 2004. It has created a situation in which more children survive, in which the mortality rate of people is down. Has it brought a solution? No. It is, of course, not a solution. There is no political solution because the root causes have not yet been addressed. It can still get worse. Attacks on the camps, more violence, more chaos, the collapse of the North-South Peace Agreement, uh, the situation can get worse than it is today. And that is what we have to prevent. Think, what would we have achieved with a military intervention against uh, the, government, the will of the government of Sudan in a territory like you've seen here, with the complexity of the problem? This is not something that you can just do lightly. Now, what is it to, what that we want to achieve? In the end, of course, we want to achieve a political solution. That will take more time. In the interim, what we want to achieve is stability and some form of security for the people in Darfur. And for this, the eyes and ears on the ground of a, of a UN and an AU force will be crucial. I think we need to be there as humanitarians, as military, as politicians, as everyone who wants somehow, in his or her own way, to support this situation to come to a conclusion and to come to a solution.